And we want to welcome you to the Otana Wrestling Show. Again, you can find the wrestling show on local cable channels 8 and 20 here in Otana, blip.tv on the internet, otanawrestling.com, and on Facebook at Otana Wrestling or Youth First Inc. Again, we want to thank our Otana Wrestling sponsors. We've got quite a list of them. Alexander Lumber, Coles Electric, Federated Insurance, Hometown Credit Union, Hy-Vee, Jostens, KRFO Radio, Lindgren Photo and Frame, Otana Chiropractic Association, Otana Bus Cavalier Coaches, Pearson, Pizza Ranch, Prairie Ridge Orthodontics, Sign Pro, Stockwell Accounting, The Colonel Restaurant, Triam Graphics, Truth Hardware, for all their support of the Otana Wrestling Show and uh, Otana Wrestling. And again, the wrestling show is brought to you by the Otana Wrestling Association, we affectionately call the OWA, and uh, Youth First. My name is Mark Argus, and we're going to get caught up this week with Coach Castile and the Huskies, who are currently ranked number seven in the latest poll. And they've got four ranked wrestlers, Tanner Cole, Brandon Mullen, Justin Flores, and our heavyweight Spencer Sorensen. So how you doing tonight, Coach? Good, doing well. <laughs> that was nice in here, nice and warm in here after a good night of practice. Yep, it usually good. is that way. Yeah, that's great. So, so you just came off, uh, I guess, a good team win last weekend with the Mustang Duels up in uh, Moundsview, right? One, four duels up there. Correct, yep. Good. And uh, so where, why don't you give us an update, just where you're at as far as a team right now? Well, you know, we've kind of been a little little hot and cold, to be honest with you. You know, we had, uh, last weekend was an exceptional weekend. Um, you know, we wrestled four duels uh, up at Moundsview. We wrestled, uh, um, what was it, St. Louis Park. Um, we wrestled a, a team from North Branch in the finals. We wrestled Moundsview and we wrestled Maple Grove, who's just a couple years removed from the state tournament. Actually, Maple Grove is. And uh, we were dominant. We, uh, um, you know, I think we probably lost seven or maybe six, seven, eight matches the whole day. I mean, mm, wow. as a team. Um, so, in, in individual matches. So it was a good day, very dominating. Our kids responded well after, you know, like I said, it's kind of been hot and cold. We kind of had a rough weekend uh, at our own event, uh, Federated Duels. Um, taking nothing away from Coon Rapids and Adrian, you know, a couple losses that we had at our own event. Mm -hmm. um, they wrestled very well. You know, we were a little bit flat in those matches. Um, but like I said, you know, that kind of happens. You, you get a little bit of a roller coaster sometime in, a, in the season just based on injuries and illness. And, uh, you know, the season gets to be long in January, and it's a tough grind. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, and, it, and, it, and it's a lot to ask. We ask a lot of our athletes. Um, as far as training and just preparation and not only that just volunteering with different events that we host you know youth wrestling events and you know the kids here at the high school they do a real nice job um, and they probably don't get enough pats on the back right. um, but uh, you know season's going well yeah aside from that yeah. good good well I know uh, we're looking at tomorrow night's Thursday night uh, this week you got a big nine JV opponent or a big nine opponent again in Mankato right. East yep. and I know the junior high is coming over so we're wrestling that starting probably in that four four thirty range and then the JV and then the varsity so another big night of Oatana kind of yep. invading the gym at East yep. so what are you looking for tomorrow night well you know I'm I'm looking for us to to go in and, and have another dominating performance to be honest with you mm -hmm. you know East is a team uh, I believe last year we may have we may have shut them out. Um, you know they do ha they do have some great good wrestlers so, uh, that are going to compete with our with our you know our team. Um, but you know as, as as in regards to an overall score, you know I think this is a duel that we can go in and, and be dominant. And the way that we've been training here, uh, you know the last week, um, you know I think that's that's what will happen. Really? But we'll, we'll see. Good. Good. Um, then on Saturday, I know there's a big tournament up in Eden Prairie, and I don't know a lot about it. Maybe you can tell the folks a little bit about who's there and, and what you're looking for up there. Is it a varsity JV combo thing? Or? It is a varsity junior varsity combo. You know, we're trying to, we like to keep our team together as much as possible. And so, instead of sending a bus here and a bus there with, you know, our team, we want to keep them together, you know, help build that unity a little mm -hmm. bit. And Eden Prairie is a school that offers this event. It's going to be a very tough event. St. Michael Albert Hill, the number one team in the state, Ranked will be number there. Number one right now. Yep. yep. Um, you know, it's a 10-team event, uh, and they're tough teams. Uh, you know, it's not going to be one that we're going to go in there and walk through by any means. Uh, we're going to have to go in and, and wrestle tough. You know, we're going to be without a few of our starters just because our match count's getting high, and we need to make sure that we have those a athletes uh, for our, you know, section or, or our big nine events uh, that we have remaining. So. And so if people are wondering, you mentioned match count. What is the, the rule there? So mm -hmm. I know. Well, we can... Each individual can only wrestle 36 matches before 
the playoffs or section tournament. Section tournament, sure. Um, so, you know, I, I believe our last Big Nine duel is on February 7th. We wrestle Austin. Mm -hmm. um, so after that date, we cannot have a kid over 36 or he will be ineligible to wrestle the following week on our section team. Right. So, you know, we have to keep track of this. And, and I know your emphasis on some of the individual tournaments, like the Christmas tournament and some of those things, because kids can get a lot of matches in one weekend, then is part of the issue, right? Yeah, well, and the one thing about an individual tournament is it's unpredictable. Right. You know, one, one athlete might go in there and wrestle two matches and be done, or you could have a kid that wrestles five on that day. So you really can't predict, you know, how many matches one kid's going to get when we go to Eden Prairie this weekend. Okay. Um, just because you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good. So, as far as uh, performance then this weekend, what you know, what what's the goal coming out of something like a needed Prairie tournament, where obviously there's, you know, as you mentioned, the competition's tough. So, mm -hmm. well, you know, we we have some guys on our team that wrestled St. Michael, you know, at the uh, Christmas tournament. Yeah. And we have some guys that are actually that looking forward to hoping meeting up with them again, mm. um, which is exciting to me. You know, I like to hear a kid that, you know, whether it was a tough loss or a competitive match that wants desires. You know, to have that again, you know, whether it's to get a second shot or maybe to do a better job to send a message to let them know that we're better, sure. you know, whatever it is. But, you know, that's really what we're looking for. We want our kids to be able to close the gap with the best team in the state or best teams and with those teams that are, you know, right by us, show them that, you know, we're maybe a little bit better and we're, you know, we're going to be competitive. And, you know, that's really what we're asking for. We want kids to be, you know, to compete and, uh, you know, to perform at a high level. Good. So I know you mentioned the volunteer activity. I know on Monday then, so we come back after Saturday, on Monday is a holiday, and so there's no school, mm -hmm. but we're hosting Onoatana here, the ninth grade individual section tournament, which there's an individual ninth grade state tournament and a team tournament for state. Right. So this is the individual regional qualifier as right. far as that state tournament's concerned. Right. So Coach Lance has got a number of ninth graders. We've got a few junior high guys coming up. Right. And Russell and that, and again, the high school guys are, are volunteering, not only having practice that morning, they're having a volunteer, doing a lot of volunteer work uh, that day too. So it's exciting to have an event like that. I think there'll be 12 or 15 teams here. That's right. It is exciting. And you know what? It's good for our community because we're, what we're doing is we're, we're creating opportunities for kids and for just the fans, right. whatever, to come here and be able to watch their watch their watch their kids or for our athletes to compete right here in our yeah. own backyard. So we do host a lot of things and. For that reason. Yeah, and so, you know, for those of you out there watching the show, Monday, you know, if you are off of work or whatever, there's some great wrestling going to happen at the, the ninth grade level at the junior high, um, starting about 10 o'clock. Um, so we mentioned you got four ranked wrestlers, and I know you've got a few others that probably have wrestled pretty well as of late. So right now, who's kind of hot, who's wrestling well in your mind and, and kind of leading the, the charge for the high school team? Well, you know, I think Justin Flores, ever since the Christmas tournament, has just taken mm -hmm. off. Uh, he's... Um, and a lot of it is just because of his training in here. Um, I don't know. I, I, it just makes a big difference. It's fun to watch Justin when he's on because he's really tough to beat. Mm -hmm. um, and in my mind, he is a top, you know, six wrestler in the state at his weight um, when he's on, when he's uh, trained and, and going after the things that he does very well. He's hard to beat. So he's been one that's really caught my eyes of late. And he's one of those... Um He's, a, I guess I would call a quiet leader in the room, right. too, where it's mm -hmm. really about, you know, when he feels like he needs to say something, he will, but he also sets the example by, yeah. you know, yeah. the pace. He is definitely a man of few words, but then, <laughs> by example, though, he, when he gets after it, other people know that he is, especially if you're wrestling with him. Yeah, yeah, so. there you go. Awesome. Well, you know, we're kind of winding down here. I want to thank you again for your time tonight. I know you just got done with practice and got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, again, we want to remind folks you can watch the Otana Wrestling Show and those segments on local cable in Otana and check out all the YouTube clips, you know, Youth First Inc. or Otana Wrestling uh, on YouTube and on Facebook. And uh, we'll look forward to catching up in a week or so and seeing how things went. All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.